The NDP are cutting funding to agriculture and forestry by $36 million. The brunt of those cuts are coming from dissolving dozens of agriculture industry specific boards and commissions. In total, 26 ag agencies, boards and commissions are being amalgamated into one big ugly Soviet style super board. Among those commissions being dismantled immediately is the Alberta Livestock and Meat Agency. It describes itself as a one-stop shop for livestock research funding. They had a budget of $25 million. It's gone. Now, many of these commissions existed, many of them for decades, and they were there to help Alberta's entrepreneurial farmers get their product to market, or in the case of the Alberta Grains Council, to give advice to the government. The mission of the AGC says it's to receive input, develop options, and provide strategic advice to the minister and the department, and to impact the long-term profitability and sustainability of the grains and oilseeds industry. Now it's gone too. I guess Agriculture and Forestry Minister O'Neill Carlier doesn't want advice anymore from those pesky farmers who revolted against his farm unionization law, Bill 6. The NDP also cancelled the Farm Safety Advisory Council. In fact, the website for this agency has already been pulled off the Agriculture and Forestry website. The agency existed to give advice to the government about on-the-farm safety and to create farm safety initiatives for schools and kids. By eliminating this council, we've just received further confirmation that the NDP were never, ever, ever concerned about safety of farm workers and families when they drafted Bill 6 with the advice of the Alberta Federation of Labour. The NDP were always concerned about handing over thousands of Alberta farms and ranches to their union pals. The NDP way back in November announced they'd be doing a review of Alberta's 301 agencies, boards and commissions. Pay attention to how they worded this in their press release. Ministers are reviewing organizations associated with their departments, considering their role and mandate, board membership and governance. So these boards were reviewed by Minister Carlier and one of the conditions to review them was the membership on the board. As in, those farmers who sit on these boards aren't NDP enough. These farmers don't go along with the NDP's ideas enough. They side with the farmers and producers they represent too frequently for the NDP's liking. The dissolution of these agricultural boards is more than what the NDP is selling it as. The NDP are selling this as a streamlining of the ministries. It isn't. It's a purge. It's a purge of the progressive conservatives and the wild rose loyalists who sit on these boards. Minister Carlier reviewed the membership of these boards and he didn't like what he saw. This is payback, you pesky farmers. It's payback for fighting back when the NDP tried to control your farms. It's payback for all your rallies. It's payback for your petitions. It's payback for all those tough questions you asked and the NDP couldn't answer. Farmers didn't comply, so the NDP are going to hurt farmers' businesses. This is a systemic dismantling of a network that was created solely to protect farmers, and now it's gone. This is how spiteful and vindictive the NDP are. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.